that the winner of the Hudson Private and Corporate Sector Award for 2009 is Fiona Reynolds. I, um, I thought I'd better write um, a couple of notes this morning um, because I hadn't really given it that much thought. And um, I called down to State Parliament and so I have them jotted on the back of um, an order of business. Um, <laughs> I hope mine's a bit more interesting. <laughs> I uh, would like to thank uh, Telstra and Hudson for giving me an award for doing something that I absolutely love. I'm very fortunate um, for that opportunity. I'm also very grateful to the Examiner newspaper. It hired me as a, a 17 year old butcher's daughter from St Helens who knew really more about what a cut of steak was, what a good cut of steak was, than what made a good news story. But they took me on the basis that I said I was a sticky beak, so I'd want to know everything that was going on, and they gave me an opportunity. And as I say, for that, I've always been very grateful to the company. They hired me back 20 years later as editor, and really what they hired at that time was someone who had had 15 years in broadcast in television and radio with the ABC. So there were a lot of questions about why were they hiring a girl from broadcast? What did she know about newspapers? And I had to keep telling people that the examiner was the newspaper that gave me a start, that I didn't forget everything that I knew in newspapers and that hopefully I'd bring some other skills to it. So really for me, I was coming back home and it was the right fit. It was also the right fit because bringing broadcast skills to newspapers, I think now, are essential. We're in a multimedia environment. We can't just be newspapers. And we don't approach the examiner and the other publications that we have under the examiner uh, banner in that way. So what we're doing now is video and audio. And I'm finding that I'm write, writing TV notes, tips, for journos on those things. And I guess it's the right culmination of all of the experience over those years. And the examiner is really committed to being a true multimedia player. And that means it's a very exciting time for us. It's also a very challenging time because it's about how we actually make money out of that. Obviously, we're a business. So it's how we, the challenge now for all newspapers is how you actually monetize that with, um, with our online sites. We don't do these things um, alone, obviously. Uh, success is always based on the team that you have around you. And when I walked back into the examiner, um, I was fortunate there were a lot of people who were still there, who'd, um, who'd been there when I was the first year cadet. And uh, they, they didn't ever you know, treat me like I was, um, I was the kid. Um, they embraced me, got on with the job, and I have the most wonderful team of people around me. And they have been so enthusiastic about embracing multimedia and changing our industry, changing the way we do things um, and operating in a completely new way. And I think that um, it's the team approach, it's the big cultural shift that we've undertaken at the Examiner that has led to great success in building our audience um, significantly. We have um, dramatically grown our online audience and we have held our readership in what is a really tough market. So that means our overall, overall audience um, has grown. There are other people you know, in the workplace and I often walk through the newsroom and I find myself just smiling and that's a great sign because it, knows, it means to me that um, I love where I am and I love the people that are around me and we have great confidence in each other. Um, when I was given the opportunity uh, of this job, one of my friends said to me, you need to find out something about your PA. They are the most, that person is the most important person um, to you. They're going to mean everything. They're going to be the gatekeeper. You have to have trust in them. So Edwina Yates and I got together and we, um, and we met each other and I have been truly blessed in having a wonderful PA who has um, come along today to, uh, to support me here and I'm appreciative of that um, because she has to listen to me again and she once commented, and I'm going to embarrass her, she once commented that she didn't want to come and listen to a speech of mine because she already has to listen to my voice like a bandsaw in the office every day. 
so she didn't really want to have to listen to it again. But she's putting up with it today, so sorry, Edwina, that I won the award. <laughs> we also have a fantastic management team led by our general manager, Phil Learson. Uh, Phil, I know, takes great pride in, in building good teams and I like to think when I look around the management um, table, we have a fantastic management team. We have great support from Phil. Um, we have terrific support from Fairfax, our owners, and, um, and I know that all of the other people in the other departments right across the examiner are completely on, um, on the same track with editorial. We work brilliantly together. Of course, uh, I also wouldn't be able to do this um, without my husband, Peter, who is um, the absolute love of my life. <laughs> Peter and I have been together for um, 22 years, so Peter was with me before I became a journalist. And recently, when I was on holidays and I was writing a story um, from um, our shack down at St Helens, I said to him, I'm sorry that you're taking the girls off fishing and I'm sitting here writing a story on my holidays. And he said, if I don't get you now, I never will. <laughs> it's quite all right. Um, Peter's travelled around the, um, the country, we've travelled around the country together working, uh, which has been terrific, and he's also supported me through doing a, a Masters in International Relations, and we've supported each other through doing IVF um, to have um, both of our, our little girls. Uh, when I took on this job, my, our youngest daughter, Lily, was 10 months old, and we had a three-year-old as well. And um, Peter and I talked about it for a long time and we decided that if I was to do this job it really had to be a true partnership and that's the way that it's turned out to be and I think he's changed more nappies than I have. Um, and, um, and the girls now tell me that, uh, well the eldest one who's four, she'll come back from care and she'll say, Mummy, I did news writing today. And I'll say, I did a bit of news writing too. And she'll go, oh really? <laughs> and she's never very particularly impressed. So I couldn't do this, um, do this without them. Um, Again, I'd like to, um, I'd like to thank the, the sponsors Telstra and Hudson. I'd also like to, um, to say to the other finalists, what a fantastic uh, bunch of business people. Not women, but business people. And you really do have some terrific stories. <laughs> um, I really picked up on something that Anne said, Anne Murray said, about how we're not extraordinary. And um, I'm usually um, brought back down to earth pretty quickly on that front uh, by my children, as I think we all are, um, as Anne said. Recently, um, our eldest, Amelia, um, wanted something fixed. And she asked Peter to do it for her. And I said, oh, Mummy will do that for you, darling. And she said, no, you could do it if you were clever, but you're not. Um, Daddy's clever. Daddy will fix it for me. <laughs> so, uh, so I'd just like to say that um, I know exactly where my place is in the world <laughs> and, um, and I'd like to, um, to thank everyone here for coming along today and um, thank you for the honour.